ओम नमो भगवते रामकृष्णाय लेसन्स फॉर लाइफ फ्रॉम द क्लासिक स्वामी जगदात्मानंद जी बुक लर्न टू लर्व हियर स्वामी जगदात्मानंद जी डिस्कसेस द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ पेशेंस एंड इनडोमिटेबल स्पिरिट विच आर द हॉल मार्क्स ऑफ ग्रेट अचीवर्स नाउ लेट इज लिजन टू स्वामी जगदात्मानंद जी ओन वर्ड्स ऑन द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ पेशेंस एंड इनडोमिटेबल स्पिरिट Patience pays. In chapter one, hidden truth: infinite power is hidden within you. Patience pays. Demosthenes, the Greek orator, Demosthenes, the Greek orator, showed that the power of speech was greater than the power of the king. He was born in 384 B.C. before Christ. Astrologers predicted that he would grow into an ordinary man. the boy couldn't speak properly he was afflicted with stammering he was afflicted with stammering growing up as a weakling often falling ill he was subjected to the ridicule and pity of his fellow pupils moreover as a child he had lost his parents and had become an orphan his uncle thinking that it would be easy to do the simple turn robbed him of his property Demosthenes complained in a court against the injustice but nobody paid any heed to his complaint however he saw how a famous greek orator of the day had inspired his audience and how highly honored he had become demosthenes in the midst of his distress and defeat developed a keen desire to achieve something remarkable Demosthenes had decided to become an effective speaker but he had to face unlimited obstacles the moment he opened his mouth to speak the stammering choked him he had no ability to speak a long sentence at a stretch but after incessant practice he overcame these difficulties according to the advice of a physician he placed beads of flint on his tongue and tried to utter words clearly and loudly he practiced going up high hills and coming down the steep slope took deep breaths and tried to speak very long sentences without interruption every day he stood before the sea and practiced giving speeches in a voice that surpassed the sound of the crashing waves he read legal treatises and greek epics assiduously spending 16 hours a day in study during his study he kept himself aloof lest people should seek his company and disturb him in his studies he shaved one side of his head and sat in the cellar to master the art of effective speech and delivery he posed before a big mirror and engaged himself in mono acting when he came out of his Three year hibernation he was a storehouse of knowledge philip the greek king said you may conquer the whole world but you cannot defeat demosthenes in speech he had by no master the gift of gab demosthenes patience and perseverance were unequaled the success which he got as a result was also unequaled When Dr Ambedkar was a student abroad he was completely absorbed in studies in his case the adage fully held good he who is after knowledge knows neither joy nor sleep he knew that his objective in going thousands of miles away from home was to get an education to be tempted by pleasure and to waste time would be to neglect his duty and his country he thought therefore he was not distracted by the temptation of going to cinemas or of loitering in the streets of the city ambedkar was a voracious reader the very sight of books would drive away his physical tiredness or mental fatigue he went to london for special studies and spent hours together in the library the librarian would close the windows and doors come to ambedkar who was still deeply absorbed in reading and remind him that it was time for the library to close he was very frugal in his eating habits and resumed his voyage of acquiring knowledge without any break he was very frugal in his eating habits and resumed his voyage of acquiring knowledge without any break so intense was his thirst for knowledge 
Dr. Johnson said that great tasks are achieved not by sudden application of strength, but by steady and long drawn effort. The firmness of determination to finish the task on hand is what differentiates a strong man from a weak one, said Carlyle. A Latin proverb says that unceasing practice drives away all difficulties. According to Yoga Vasishta, there is nothing in the world that cannot be achieved with proper and enthusiastic effort. What courage it must have taken Columbus to navigate his ship through uncharted seas to discover a new continent? When he could not reach the expected goal, his companions were so disgruntled that they rebelled against him and were almost at the point of throwing him into the sea. In spite of mounting difficulties in the midst of the vast ocean, he braced himself against the opposition from his own men, kept the spark of hope alive in his heart and went on with limitless courage and self-confidence to win victory which crowned his efforts in the end. It took 15 years for George Stevenson to improve upon his mission. James Watt spent 30 years to complete the fabrication of his new mission. The Curie couple melted the pitch blend for years in the crucible in order to separate radium from it. The secret of success of those who reach is nothing but relentless effort accompanied by patience. Edison, the inventor of electric bulbs, failed 900 times on his experiment. Still, he continued his experiment with patience when he was asked, Are you not disappointed by so many failures? Don't you get bored with this unending experimentation? He replied, No, I am not bored. In fact, in my effort to find out what is true and what is false, I get the satisfaction of eliminating 900 errors and coming upon the truth. Isaac Newton had kept on the table of his study, his papers containing the results of his research conducted for years together. His pet dog caused a lighted candle on the table to fall on the papers which promptly caught fire and were reduced to ashes. Newton was deeply pained by the destruction of his valuable papers but did not lose heart. He made up his mind to repeat the study. He acted according to his determination and finished the task of repeating the experiment. There is no relationship between age and achievement. There are some who are crowned with success at a young age, some in their middle age while others in their old age. Pitt became the Prime Minister of England when he was only 24. Gladstone became the Prime Minister of England when he was 83. Goethe started writing when he was just 10, but his masterpiece Faust saw the light of the day when he was 80 years old. Coleridge wrote his famous poem Ancient Marina when he was 20. Leonardo da Vinci painted his famous Last Supper when he was 77 years old. Kelvin made his first attempt at scientific research when he was 18, but he was 83 when he brought out an improved version of the navigator's compass. Can we say perfect health and absence of disabilities are necessary for success? Milton was blind, Napoleon was afflicted with skin disease, Julius Caesar suffered from epilepsy, Beethoven was deaf, Byron was deaf too, and the super orator Demosthenes stammered. Tomorrow we will be discussing another important topic, a living example for ceaseless industry. Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Tatsat Sri Ram Krishna